I'm with Phil Stallard, uh, who's described as an abstract expressionist painter. What's an abstract expressionist painter to you, Phil? And, and do you feel as though you fulfil that, that label? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> In short, no, I sort of, um, I have an this is an expressive, I suppose, nature to, uh, of what I do. Um, but it's also, they're also pretty well considered, like abstract expressionism is pretty much just like non-representative, um, you know, pure uh, emotive or whatever, or basically pure painting. I tend to have, ultimately me, I sort of, I'm all about landscape, essentially, a you know, memory of a landscape, landscapes that I've known since I was a kid, and when I move, when I, you know, I live in Sydney and I move around a bit, and every time I move to a new location, I get inspiration from pretty much the landscape I'm in. And I relate that to my memory landscapes in an expressionistic form, I think. You know, I, you know, I learn the landscape, I learn all the gestures, and sometimes I leave, well, most times, sorry, I leave the paintings open to some expressive gesture that comes out, you know, in the context of this landscape I create. So that's what I'm into, that's what I do. So sort of, a, you know, abstract expressions, but more sort of with some representational element. And my work more of more recent is becoming more and more pretty much landscape based. You can see definite places now. Whereas a few years ago, it was pretty much, it was, yeah, it was pretty formless and pretty much into the expression and the gesture and colour. But now I'm sort of putting into I'm introducing real elements like birds and numbers and squares that are just like question the whole idea of what's an abstract painting. Um, so, which I think that's what Birdland is. This series that I've been working on over the past six or seven, eight months. You know, really sort of getting inspiration from moving out of the city and the suburbs. We might, talk about, we might talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> Another question. That's a good place to, uh, to get an understanding of abstraction in your work. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.